chat. How are we doing today? How are we doing? I'm late. Uh, I'm two minutes late. Not even that. I'm a minute 50. I'm not even that late. Come on, guys. <coughs> Show a bit of respect. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. We got a big stream today. We got a big, big stream today. I am very excited. We've got a big, big stream. Uh, we're going to do Mandela Catalog first because the new episode just came out. And then after that, we're going to do Faith Chapter 3. It's going to be good. Thank you, Joy Boy, for joining. And who just joined right now? DJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, my, my plan on a beautiful Saturday evening uh, is to stream Mandela Catalog, then Faith. Take about four hours, maybe five. And then after that, I'm going to spend the rest of my Saturday uh, scripting Cruelty Squad and finishing that up. Because uh, I need to... I, th I think what I'm going to do now, honestly, is what I've started to do is like plan out my days. So I think I'm going to do one day a week of just pure main channel video. And then the second day will be pure second channel and then just alternate. Just so I get a bit more time to the uh, main channel video. I went to the dentist today as well. Uh, that was a good experience. Very good. Uh, the outcome was a lot better than I thought. Basically, to those... Thank you, Zia, for joining. Uh... To those who don't know, I I've got I've got like a tooth here that's a bit fucked. Hang on, see if I can. Hang on, it's, it's, it's this one here. So that one there is uh it's a little bit uh discolored because the nerve in it died. We're, we're not sure why. Uh, it got severed or something. Uh, so I had to have a root canal, which is when they go into the back of the tooth and they take the nerve out. So you get to keep the tooth. So the tooth will have no nerve in it, no sensation, but it won't fall out. You can still keep it. I mean. You, you can see it. If you, you see the little white dot, hang on. Yeah, there. So, and it annoys me, man, that I had to have a root canal because I take such good care of my teeth. I, I'm like one of 10 people in the UK that actually like regularly brushes. And I floss, man. I floss three times a day. No one should have to floss that much. But yeah, uh, I've never, I've never had my teeth like treated or whitened. I might do though. Actually, I'm drinking a lot of coffee now. But anyways, uh, so I got the root canal done uh, a, a week ago and the dentist, uh, the dentist actually recognized who I was, which is kind of funny. The guy was super based, but he just told me how, what else should we put on this? This is a good one. He basically told me how uh, he had to stop the operation halfway through because he couldn't get deep enough into the nerve. And when they took a scan, there was like a chip in the tooth below at the bottom, like a crack. Uh, only a little one, which sucks. So he had to stop the up. He had to seal it up. Couldn't even finish it. Uh, I didn't get charged for that up because he couldn't complete it, which is good. And then I'm having his higher up do an up with me, I think in two weeks time on the weekend. So he's going to reopen that, uh, that thingy sealed and then, uh, put the, take out the rest of the roots, the nerve, and then seal it back up. Because I was, bro, when I saw that chip on the bottom of the tooth, I was like, it's over. I'm going to have to get this tooth removed. It's over. Like, I'm I'm a young buck. I'm 25. I'm a little young baby. I, I don't want to be having teeth removed, especially that I take such good care of them. And then the only, the only thing I do that shit for my teeth is I drink like six cups of coffee a day. Like, I'm addicted to coffee. I, I don't even like that it gives you a buzz. I just like the taste of black coffee. It sounds so weird. I have like two cups a day and then I'll have like four decafs. Just so I'm not like, you know, like, tweaking Byro, why must you lie to us you said you'll stream on Thursday how disappointing okay I will make an excuse why I didn't stream on Thursday I will make an excuse Keep up the good work and almost daily uploads your content helps get me through my day we're trying to do daily uploads man we're trying I think I think we're on course at the minute I think we're on course at the minute um, when's the merch out? The Christmas jumper? Ah, oh, right! Hey, 
Hey, hang on a minute. Are you talking about this? Are you to are you talking about this here? Focus. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. You buy now. You purchase. Yes. It's even got the little uh, it's got the little pet scop guys at the bottom as well there. Yeah, that's not on sale yet because obviously I live in the UK and there is a huge mail strike going on soon. So we can't actually sell them yet because we, we've got nowhere to ship them to you guys. So we've got to delay it a little bit. It will be this year though. Probably early December or something. But yeah. Good luck with your teeth problem, but if you ever show us the inside of your mouth again, I'm going to unsub. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Like, come on, mouth, mouth, mouth. Tooth. Hey, Biro people always ask when Petis Cop 2 is coming, but when is Car Sex 2 coming? Car Sex 2? I, I might cave in at one point and just do like, do like an ironic one of that. Honestly, uh, w when are we doing faith? We are going to be doing faith today. I want to react to Mandela catalog uh, Part four and do like a little analysis. I've watched some of it And I messaged Alex the guy that made it just saying like how much of an amazing job he did There, there, is, there is some live-action stuff in this one, which is really cool Some people on the subreddit his subreddit didn't seem to like it. They thought it was cheesy, but I, I think it's good. I think it's I think it's really good. I think it got pulled off really well. I know you don't care about football. Uh who will win? Mexico or Argentina? Well, I don't follow football either. I just know Argentina's goated because of Messi, right? But they got rinsed on that game against was it Saudi? That's right. I had a root canal like five years ago and I still have 5% sensitivity to hot and cold food. That's weird. If you if you have a root canal though, the roots is removed. You shouldn't have sensation anymore. Because what they did with me is they got like a cotton bud and they put it on my teeth and it really hurt because you've still got a nerve in there, right? Like, like this is like negative 30 or something. something. I don't know. It, was, it really hurt. But then they put it on that tooth and just no sensation at all. Absolutely nothing. Because the nerve in there is just dead. It fell off. No, the nerve actually fell off. Uh... Shall we jump straight into Mandela? This one is like 40 minutes. This is very, very long. I don't think the others were... Or maybe they were. 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, no. No, Mandela episode 3 was 26 minutes. 2 was 20 minutes. 1 was 15. This is 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I was reading the comment section when the video went live as well, the Mandela catalog, and everyone just kept saying the uh, the policeman and it looks like a XQC. I'm from the UK, can you send me the jumper? Thanks. I'm from the UK, can you send me the jumper? No. No, we, we, we literally couldn't send it to you though, because it's Royal Mail. Royal Mail are our distributors. And they're, they're all going on strike. Two things that are guaranteed if you live in the UK. The trains will go on strike, and... Royal Mail will go on strike. All right, let me get this Mandela set up for us so we can have a little watchy watchy. A little watchy watchy, looky looky looky. I'm so excited. I've only watched a bit of it. Uh, but this one is long. I think what I want to do, instead of just doing a react dandy to it, I kind of want to do like a bit of analysis. So if you guys in chat... There will be some scholars here. There will be some Mandela Catalog scholars. So we're going to do a little bit of theorizing. I don't want to watch all the episodes just to get caught up to date. I do remember a good like 80% of it. There probably will be a bit of holes in my enormous brain, but... Pyro lights off. Oh, your message got deleted for spam. Unlucky. Yeah, all right. I'll turn the lights off. I'll turn the lights off. I've only got one light on. It's like in the back of the room. Hang on. All right. Oh, it's 
it's so scary. It's so scary now. It's so dark. Oh my God. I can't see anything. Oh my God. Oh, I like that. First of all, the camera makes me look like a corpse now because it's on low light saying and the FPS drops to about five. Is this a PS5 game? Uh... When's the Deep Woken Law video? When I do a Deep Woken video. Oh, I sell my testicle for sewer chat. For sewer chat? You mean super chat? Look, this year's jumper. Hope it won't come with a hole in the sleeve like the one I got last year. Unlucky. Regardless, uh, love your designs. Uh, I don't know if you heard the Prince of Saudi Arabia bought the entire football team Rolls Royces for beating Argentina. That don't surprise me at all. That don't surprise me. I was, I'm actually amazed that Argentina lost that because isn't Messi meant to be like one of the best footballers like at the minute? But yeah, that was, uh, that was shambles. I put, uh, I watched, uh, I, I, again, I don't care about football, but you know, cause the world cups every four years, I, I, you know, I, I guess it's worth watching. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the, uh, what was it? America and England, that game, that was horrendous. What a waste of time. That is, the best thing is that is the first football game in years I've watched from start to finish. And it's the most mid one of all time. I, I put I put 250. I put 250 quid down for uh, America to win because the odds were against them. So I would have got like a fat payout. What and, and then it's just a draw. What size will the jumper go up to? What size will the uh, jumper go up to? Uh, I think 2XL. I've had a couple of people ask me for a 5XL. But... Uh, Messi isn't the whole team. Oh, yeah, no, but you do have players that carry. Who's that Who's that guy on the French team? McBappy or something. McFra His name sounds like a McFrappe, like the coffee you get at McDonald's. McFrappe. Uh, but he was, he was a striker for the uh, team uh, with France against Denmark. And then he got uh, rinsed. No, no, he won, even. He dominated. It was 2-1, I think, to Denmark, uh, to France. Yeah, but I don't, I don't follow football that much. I really don't. I just saw the meme saying Isn't how, like, Mori America's going to trash us. Squad. Is it Mori after Cruelty Squad? Nah, I think I think after Cruelty Squad, I kind of want to, like, take it. I, I, I want to work on another game review that will only be about, like, 20 to 30 minutes. Can't wait to laugh at Germa face. But yeah, laugh at Germa face? No, 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 no. We've come a long way from Germa face. We've come a long way from Germa face. That was, I, I felt bad because I was making fun of the Mandela catalog in like the first episode and then Alex joined the stream and I instantly felt like a piece of shit. Uh, no, we've come a long way from German face. I mean, even he was self-aware that the first episode of Mandela was like, not the best thing in the world. When's the next main channel video coming? Uh, it's coming pretty soon. I mean, I'm looking at hiring a couple editors to like speed up the process, I think possibly. Uh, cause I'm still, I'm still in the scripting stage at the minute. The script is about 50,000 words because I'm just going over everything. I want this to be like a completely concise video, like covering Cruelty Squad and all of its themes and stuff. And then I'm going to go and travel to Finland to interview the guy in person, which should be really interesting. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. I just, I, I don't want people to think by me doing the second channel, it's not like I've gave up on the main. I want, I want, I want this main channel video that's going to come out to be the best one ever. I want it to be fucking good. And you know the best thing is, th th this video, the, the main channel one, the Cruelty Squad, it might not even be done until like January. And January is when the CPM for YouTubers is at its worst. It's at its worst. Like if I could, I could rush it and get it out for like December and then I get fat stacks. But I just know like it's not, it's, it's going to be shit. It's not gonna be any good. I want to. Uh, I want to make sure it's like. I don't want to rush it. Like I've made enough money off YouTube and side businesses to live very comfortably now, so I want to make sure that stuff I put out on the main is not rushed, and it is like just perfect. Something that I can be happy with. Has a funny fetish and only goes up to two XL, four XL, or ensuing rolling eyes face. There's a funny fetish and only goes up to 2XL. Yeah, cry about it. I mean, I've had a guy ask me for 5XL. Uh, we might do some bespoke ones, maybe. I just don't think the company we get them from can actually do that big, but who knows. New Mandela catalog isn't bad. Second half, editing-wise, is kind of mid. 
Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, uh, let's get started. Let's get started. You guys, uh, thank you, Dylan, for joining. If we get any joiners, by the way, uh, I'll, I'll just, you know, I'll shout you out when I can. Uh, and Donos as well. I'll probably take a couple breaks. But anyways, anyways, let's get started on the spooky. Now, one thing I love about Mandela Catalog is it builds great horror without jump scares. If there's a single jump scare in this, it could be very... I'm going to be so mad. I'm so angry. I might even unsubscribe. Mandela Catalog. And we're going to watch it on Opera because I don't want people to see my search history. So true. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. This critical video here. Apparently, this is about a uh, sneaker. Unlucky. I love Sneaker. Right. Uh... Oh, one more Everyone donor? asking how Pyro videos are doing, but nobody asking how Pyro is. How are you doing? I'm Did doing you good. Have a nice week? I had a very nice week. Uh, I went out on Thursday. The reason why I didn't stream on Thursday is because I went out to say goodbye to uh, Marisa. I don't know if you know her on Twitter. Meow Reza, uh, really nice girl. She uh, was going back to Germany, so uh, we just went out for like uh, fight the, the last supper. And then we went to the casino and I put like 20 pound down and came out with a grand, which is, that was kind of good. That was kind of good. Good outcome, good outcome. I literally woke up, I woke up in my jacket. I felt my jacket and there was like a, 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 a thousand pound bill, like in, in a little uh, paper bag, a uh, plastic bag, because they do that at casinos. All right. Sneakers and L. Yeah, he, I mean, I, I've met him in per. Okay, I, I'll, I'll say this just before I get started. I, oh, wait. I think our stream's delayed. Oh, no, we're on normal latency. Shit. Okay, so whenever you, whenever I say something, it's not going to come up on chat for like a good 10 seconds. That sucks. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll just say this before I get started. I've met Sneeko in person. Really fucking nice guy. I really like Sneeko. I do. I don't know what kind of content he makes anymore. Because I didn't, I, I I didn't actively watch him. I I just saw his interviews he did at subway stations and thought that shit was like goated. Uh, but he was really nice when I met him. Only met him for a couple hours in uh, London with a uh, Scythe PewDiePie's editor, uh, and my girlfriend was there as well. I don't know what kind of stuff he does now, but obviously, yeah, I I I've seen him on TikTok sound off on a uh, critical on Charlie a couple times, and it's like you don't do that, you don't do that, you do not go after a YouTube juggernaut, you you don't. Because cause Charlie's pretty much considered the golden boy, right? It's it's like H3H3 in uh, like 2016. He was considered the golden boy. Like anything he had an opinion on had so much weight behind it. And I think Charlie's got that that role now. So yeah, no, it's, it wasn't a good idea to do that at all. Uh, Yeah. Very, very stupid. Very stupid. Anyways. um, Yeah, let me, let's get into this. I thank you, Thea, for joining. Is there any subtitles? I always do this first. Okay, this auto generated. That's pointless. Uh, anyways. In the beginning, the earth was created without form, as a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Light was created first, then the light was divided by darkness. The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. Okay, so this is like the creation the of the world. Day, the spirit created the skies above and the waters below. You know how it's like God, uh, what's it? God made the world in six days and then he rested on the seventh, I think, right? Because because Alex, Alex, I think is legitimately like a Christian and I think he's using like a lot of his beliefs like to motivate stuff in Mandela, which is really interesting. Thank you, Archie, for joining. Oh, is that Archie? Like Archie that edits for fucking every single YouTuber on earth. What's up, man? You are insanely talented though. I'm very jealous. Thank you, Vix, for joining. Great firmament. Hang on, we got two donors in the now. Sneeko defended cuties lol. Did he actually? <laughs> Surely that was just contrarian or like baiting. There's, there's no way. <laughs> to divide the waters. But even into the morning. One thing I found interesting, he didn't say God, he said a spirit. Because I, I think at the minute with Mandela, the, the, there's like a twist on like, this is a world where Satan is God, if that makes sense, like it's reversed. 
like God or Jesus or whatever is apparently meant to be like trapped or something. I think that was explained in the very first, uh, the very first Modelo catalog with that text in the sky. The water below was separated from dry land where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. The mass of water would be called the sea. The land would be called Earth. Oh, there it is. There it is. So you, you can see there, that's, uh, it, who's it meant to be again? Gabriel? Is it Gabriel? So you can see there, like he's at the tree, and then when he disappears, the tree dies. So that's like a rogue element, pretty much. A grand array of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea, sky, and land. Is that the Windows background? The would multiply. And soon the earth was filled with... I feel that was the Windows XP background. On the sixth day, a man was created from the dust of the ground, followed by a woman to keep him company. Booba! They loved each other Booba! very much. And happiness was felt for the first time. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, graceful slumber. They've still made no mention of uh, God, though. They just keep... Referring to it as a spirit. What does it say? Awaken. Awaken my son, I think. Okay, so that's Adam. And that's Gabriel. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna do a bit of trolling? He's gonna do a little bit of trolling. No, don't eat the apple. No, don't do it. The apple of forbidden knowledge. This night was different. So, so if you guys don't know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone was taught this at school, but I'm, I'm just gonna say anyway. I think Adam is given an apple of knowledge in the Garden of Eden by a snake. The snake is meant to be Satan. Like, you know, the, the physical representation of Satan as a snake one of the animals that kind of snuck into the garden and God said to Adam and Eve don't eat don't eat the apples because they're like they have knowledge in them and he eats the apples and then they're like excluded they're, they're exiled from Eden and that's how mankind's formed so the fact that they've got the apple there is kind of showing different than the last the woman would gaze up at the sky but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man staring down at her the woman was afraid Maybe that's where the first alternate came from then. Maybe that's where the first alternate came from. Maybe it was like Adam eating the apple. And then you've got humanity and you've got the alternates. So it's like kind of a mirrored universe thing. That, that's kind of interesting because we, we know that alternates like they're trying to replace humanity and we know as well that they're... Uh, they can manipulate technology. We know that as well, right? Like TVs and stuff like that. Uh, Eve got tricked into eating the apple and then she tricked Adam. That's right. Oh no, Eve eats the apple first. That's right. Oh, the woman did it. So true. It literally was the woman that did the bad thing. Okay. But again, that's reversed though, because it's Adam that's eating it first. This is Dave from Mandela Tech. Okay, so that's Bythorn, and Bythorn is the city that's right next to Mandela. That's like the closest neighboring, that's the closest neighborhood. And apparently Bythorn is like aware of the outbreak in Mandela, but they're kind of choosing to just like ignore it, like pretend it's not really happening or anything like that. You see the bit of graffiti down there as well, like no use anymore to try. So yeah, it's obviously like escalated a lot. It's it's not it's not like Mandela uh, catalog, you know, it's not like two where it's literally just like a single house and then a policeman goes missing. It seems to be pretty spread out now. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh. How's it going, man? It's been a while. No, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. Felt empowering, you know. According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. 
Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. I'm sure you've seen the news. Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. Ah, that's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's alright. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw the live action segments in this, it was a little bit jarring. But looking back on it now, I, I really like it. I think it's re I think it's a really nice touch. Because it's it, it looks unnatural, right? Because the, the backgrounds are like green screen and stuff. It, it it is unnatural, it doesn't look fitting, but I think that plays perfectly into like the atmosphere of, of Mandela. Like like you're not you're always meant to feel kind of uncomfortable watching stuff like this. I wear around it sooner or later, right? Having a shutdown, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Same old procedure. Drop off when you're done. Hey, no worries. Yeah, because apparently Dave was bought in originally. Uh, D Dave is Alex, by the way. That's uh, the, the guy on the phone with the with the fake facial hair. That's just Alex, the guy that made this, like playing a character in, in Mandela. But apparently Dave was like a joke character, I think. But then they've actually brought him in as like an actual official character now, I think. But also, I, I remember from the third volume, he was really into like collecting videotapes and I think either storing them or destroying them. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Oh, wait, was that Thatcher on the on the back of the thing? Oh yeah, Thatcher was the cop that went missing, right? Thatcher was the cop that went back to the police station to get help and then he got attacked by an alternate. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal at 8. I'll talk to you soon, alright? No, guys, it's not Margaret Thatcher. It's it's a different character. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. What did that say on that tape? Viewing intended only for Mr. Lee. The only CRT TV in Wisconsin. Toddler stress assessment video. Record your child's responses to the following media. It just plays a PewDiePie video. Oh, okay. So, so this is Thatcher. So apparently it was revealed in like the last video. There was like a little teaser between volume three and this, and it's shown that Thatcher, the, the, the cop, actually escaped. So he encountered the alternate. He was attacked, but I think he shot it and then he ran away. And everyone thought he died, but he's actually alive. And I think he's in like hiding or something now. Yeah, here come the XQC comments. <laughs> okay, guys! Guys, he looks 20% like XQC. <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta fucking chat right now. If I... <laughs> he looks 20% like XQC, man. Don't even look like him. XQC doesn't have a septum piercing. Come on. This guy followed me on Twitter. I can't, I can't make fun. At 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Hello, I am Sarah Heathcliff, founder of the Paranormal. So this is Bythorn, which is the city right next to Mandela. I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the surrounding Ooh, area. Spooky. Ooh. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. 
Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I Apparently, you can legitimately contact on this email. Apparently, this is an actual registered email address. And people on the subreddit have actually been messaging and reaching out to this email. So that could be kind of funny. Look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. Sarah Heathcliff currently at large. So they had this paranormal society and they had that, I think, in volume two, I think, was the uh, paranormal society. And that was that Murray guy and some hey, other Sarah, people. I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff since I. Oh, yeah, this guy that sounds like Saikuno. Yeah, he. Uh, so, so this is Adam Murray. This is the guy who, in volume two, he encountered that TV that was like talking to him. So I think he actually survived and he's got like some kind of special ability, possibly. But you know that stranger, the guy with the hood up uh, that's like memed everywhere? That guy basically was trying to contact Adam. And then Adam went in with another guy called Jonas. Was it Jonas? Or Jonah? And then I think he. That guy actually became an alternate and died. I think that sounds pretty cool. He was I killed by an alternate. High school, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places that we can explore. Up to you, though. Hope to hear back from you. Yes, yeah, so that's Adam. Currently at large. Special announcement, everyone, please welcome Adam, the newest addition. Okay, so this is 2007, so this is a little bit ago. Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded... The Bythorn Paranormal Society. Yup, you heard that right. We are now expanding its surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. Right, I gotta, I gotta do a little bit of research here. Hang on. Because I remember in episode two, they had the Paranormal Society. Uh, but that wasn't... Yeah, so there's Adam again. Yeah, so, jo so Jonah died. And then Adam escaped. And then Adam at the end was like, you know, talking to this TV. Pretty much. Uh, what is there a date that we can work with here? Because I'm not really sure where the girl gets involved. Because I thought the Paranormal Society was just Jonah. I'm trying to look at a year to work with. There's no year. There's only like time. No dates. Yeah, it doesn't say a date. Okay, I don't think we've got... Yeah, I'm not sure. Sarah Heathcliff and Adam Murray after school private investigations. No fee every day from 4 to 11. Breaking and entering event one. This will be fine. Promise. Imagine the reactions from this. This will be great. And I know the perfect spot. No way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Uh... Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it, and don't look away. It's so crazy to think, like, most of this was just done in his house. Okay, all set. Now press play. Audio lore is activated in the crime scene. Shh, shh, shh. Just watch. Ah, uh, so he's using, like, screams of people to bait alternates. Okay. Ah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Look, Sarah, look at it. I don't like that one. No, 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 no. Adam, please. It's right there, Sarah. Look. Why open the door? Why open the door? Spooky hand. What's going on? Oh, damn. I can't look. Oh, lordy. Oh my god. Stop it, please. Suspects flee. No worries. Spooky hand. Got it on video. That was cool though. You can look at it whenever you're that ready. was really cool. 
you've got a crazy I just imagine like Alex no. asked his family to like you know I'm stick their hands out the, <laughs> the door and shit. That was really cool. You're kidding. I just need time, all right. If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. Call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Sarah system. is Mark's sister from the first volume. Oh, Mark, Mark being the one that died. Okay. You're kidding. I just need time, all right? If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. Two years later. A call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Sarah, it's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. So she re he reached out to her again. Can we talk this through, please? Um, Johnny, you got to try 25 milligram next time. What does FS2 even stand for? Fuck you, you'll get what's coming. Damn, who hurt Amanda? What did they do to Amanda? Right, so this is after Jonah died. And now he's removing Jonah as a contact. Okay, so like Jonah, yeah. Okay. So that makes sense where we are now. Who are you going to message though? So he's not messaging Evelyn. He just goes back to talking to Sarah again. Okay. I'm not bailing you out when the cops find you. They won't. They're all bark and no bite. Uh, Grandma! Grandma, Adam! Just got home. Did you hear voicemail? No, I've been busy. How did the visit go? Do you want good or bad news first? Great, there's bad news. Jonah bailed, and I don't know what happened. Okay, so this is this is shortly. Oh, okay, so this is basically straight after volume two, after he left with the encounter with the TV, right? So he's literally just got back to his house now. So yeah, he has no idea where Jonah is. Jonah's probably dead or like an alternate. And okay. Jonah bailed and I'm pretty sure he's dead or something. Or something. Or something, by the way. Adam, what? What? I'm pretty sure he's dead or something. I don't know. He fell off. Okay, wait. Let me say the good news. The good news, by the way, after saying that your friends might be dead, by the way. Absolutely not. Call me now. Adam? Eventually someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, all right? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. I don't give a shit about the footage until you sort yourself out. It's like, my friend might have died, Crazy but how I, I, got, more I got some good film. I someone I hardly knew than you. He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend. I don't have friends. We have to tell our viewers, you know. We? 
I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online. No, you. This is all your fault, Adam. We didn't need this footage. I don't care how good it is. That's all Xbox, Mike. Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I thought you were better than that. Unlucky. So th did he change after encountering the TV? Because he's coming across like a bit of a sociopath. No wonder Evelyn left you. Oh my God. Why you hit him there? Now that was, that was mean. Mandela County population trend report, 1990 to 2009. So 1990, 19,000, 19, 14. Oh my God. I like this, by the way. They lost about 400 people and then they just lost like 6k oh my god seven five four three seven. i mean to be fair a lot of it is p probably people moving out because they realize you know oh, i'm gonna end up being killed 17 years and counting there's just over a thousand people left in mandela and originally there were nineteen thousand people 17 years and counting so it's literally like 0.5% left of the actual population now. Fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer. The bellowing of broken parents. The cries of sisters asking where their brothers went. Guys, no XQC I'll jokes. I'm, I'm being serious now. Fluorescent lights. Missing person support stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief. Part of me thinks if I lit a match and tossed it, their souls would find their final resting place. One thing I never understood about this show is like, if if people know how bad the alternates are, why don't they call in like the army or something? I never really understood that. I, I think I talked to Alex about this. I, I kind of forget what he said, but I think it's something like the, the world knows or the government knows, but they just kind of don't really want to do anything about it or they can't. I'm not sure. My guardian angel, in a sense. I threw her to the flames and act of <laughs> Excuse me, stop streaming. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't know as well, Weaver that he's mentioning is the cop that died in volume three. She basically got yoinked by an alternate and then he ran away to get help and then he got attacked in the police station. Photo blaster in the lobby. Almost like a reminder of what I did. At the same time. So, in remembrance means that basically everyone thinks that uh, Thatcher's dead as well. They think Thatcher's dead, but he's not. He's in hiding. I feel anger. I feel vengeful. I feel pain. I'll make you proud, Ruth. The darkness followed me home, Weaver. I left. I couldn't cut it. I shut myself in. He shed that skin. Something else was there with me. If nobody's there to call you crazy, would you ever find out? I really like the live action segments. I really do. I think I think they add a lot to it. I think there's only so much you can do with like visual editing before you need to actually implement like actual humans into it. He's going to bed. He had a long day of streaming for 20 hours. He's going to bed. Everyone say goodnight to him. Good night, Lieutenant Thatcher. Oh shit. Okay, that actually scared me. Don't don't do, don't do jump scare. Don't do a jump scare. It's volume four. Do not do a jump scare. I've been, I've, been, I've been a fan of this for so long. Do not do a jump scare. Do not do it. That is absolutely terrifying.
and it is just a human face. I like how you can tell it's just a PNG as well, like it's not... Okay, that isn't. Bye-bye. Don't jump scare me. Don't do it. Just comes out the closet. It's like a big audio stinger. That was... Okay, that was actually terrifying. I, I spoke more just so I didn't get scared. Just gonna have to take my word that, was, that was a really good scene. Shit. I, I, I do want to say as well, I don't think that was actually an alternate. I think that's like him hallucinating because he's got like survivor's guilt or something. That's what I think. Because if that was an alternate, that would have killed him. I think that's just him hallucinating the alternate that attacked him in the police station. I don't really think he's, uh, that that, that was real. Lit literally all in the head. else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. So this is Dave firing the girl because the girl took one of the tapes and she went through them. Same old procedure. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? The old TV? Why do you stop? Okay, so we fired her for like basically knowing too much. Surprised she wasn't killed, to be fair, but you know. Hey, O'Brien. I think it's about time that I take you up on your offer. Why is everyone saying that looks like Jay Schlatt? Okay, that's a reach. Come on. How's that not look Schlatt? The XQC one I kind of get a little bit. This is Lieutenant Patrick Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all units. Over. Ah, uh, so that that was that was probably the alternate that attacked him at the station. And you know how alternates can impersonate people? I thought they had to kill the person to impersonate them, but they. It, uh, okay, so so that alternate that might be the one that attacked him at the station, or another one. Because Thatcher went to the police station, he called Bythorn County and basically shit himself, saying like, oh my god, they're coming, they're coming. But another alternate has just called them and basically said, no, everything's fine. It's, it's, it's alright. It's, ignore the fact that my voice keeps changing pitch randomly, like I'm using a voice changer or something. It's cool that they're using actual 3D models as well. Afraid of your own reflection. I left here, enjoyed that. A man without a purpose in a world that doesn't need him. A scared boy with a gun. Sound familiar? That's another thing the alternates try to do. They really try to like sigh up you. Just literally mocking you. If they can't kill you, they'll just mock you eternally. Because they are they are inherently evil. They're like anti humans. They're, they're, they're just complete. Okay, I was gonna say they're imposters, and then I instantly thought of Among Us. So I'm not gonna say that. Griff. I know you can't read this letter, so I guess this is more for my peace of mind. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I like to think that you're watching me somehow, making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like, uh, I'm gonna get over it somehow, you know? But it hasn't gotten easier. So this is him watching the body cam footage, movies I think. Music that you missed. I wish I could show it to you. Just one more time. Because the reality is, Ruth, I don't think <laughs> I'm gonna find another friend like you can. <laughs> and every day it hurts. <laughs> It's so bad. Yeah, that was him getting his promotion as well. <laughs> and now you're dead because I was too fucking scared. So Roos dead. I was too fucking scared. He's basically become like a mega hermit I'm now so in hiding. Sorry. 
I think everyone thinks he's dead. You deserve better, Weaver. You really did. He looks like Troy Baker. Guys, you gotta you gotta commit to one. Troy Baker or XQC. It's cool how they're doing callbacks as well, though. I think that's cool. Like mentioning stuff from volume two. Like with the Adam stuff. It's all like they've, they've forgotten about that. Are you almost done with the video? Oh, this is uh this is Sarah's perspective now. Or Hannah. It's the girl's perspective. Oh yeah, Sarah. Yeah, it's Sarah's perspective. Sure, okay, this is stupid. Uploading this makes it more dramatic than it needs to be. Well, Adam's profile picture gives me the, the energy of like someone that's going to message you saying like, uh, give me 1800 Microsoft points or I hack your account. Don't care, your fault. Your PR this time. Uploading makes it more dramatic. So this is the video that they got that Adam took when he was in the house with Jonah. flowers a celebration of life oh is this like a memorial video for jonah image please restart error i'm not in the mood for joking around get this done See, what, one thing I'm thinking of is, like, that probably is Adam, but alternates can also fuck around with, like, technology and stuff. That's why, like, all TVs have been removed, I think. So maybe... Maybe the computer, or maybe the file itself is, like, you know, infected or something. I'm not sure what the right word is. Or maybe Adam is an alternate. I don't know. It is with heavy hearts that we because, you know, he's talking like a fucking psychopath. Recent member of the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Jonah was beloved. <laughs> a special announcement regarding Jonah Marshall. Remember to rate five stars and subscribe. I like that for two reasons. Firstly, every YouTuber ever. And then secondly, that's actually a callback to how YouTube used to be. Do you remember how you'd rate videos out of five stars even though it did nothing? So what the fuck is five stars? You like the video or you don't? It's like, I don't know, maybe it's a three and a half, but it's definitely not a four star. But like no one's... God, I can't believe YouTube had that system as well. We couldn't be more saddened by the passing of such a pure soul. Jonah passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. He did not pass away peacefully. He did not pass away peacefully. I think he was mauled to death. I can't even tell if this is a 3D rendered environment or... No, I don't think it is. Don't jump scare me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank you, Flowers. Thank you, Flowers, for covering up the jump scare. Jonah Edmund Marshall, March 7th, 1988 to January 13th, 2009. Yeah, so... Special oh, guest. Like this guy up until he started the investigations of Jonah. I... I never believed in that kind of stuff. He always came across as a skeptic, sort of just more surprised than anything. There was always something going on with him, but he just never told me. We got into a big fight over it, and he just told me some awful, terrible things that I just wish he had never told me. So that's, that's Evelyn Miller that dated Jonah. And isn't that the same girl that was working at the VHS rental that got kicked out for knowing too much? Never said that. It's messing with my words. I don't know what's going on. It's not me. 
computer, I swear. I'm not stupid. I, I never right. said that. The computer, I swear. Listen with my words. I'm not stupid, all right? I don't know what's going on. Listen with my words. I never said that. Shut the fuck up! I never said that. Messing with my words. I've had enough of you! Messing with my words. I never said that. Please, just get the fuck out of my ass! So true. Yeah, so I, I think that file was like corrupted by an alternate or something. Because that is not a normal video file. Definitely not. And if Adam has sent that to her, then that means her computer is probably infected now because she had to download it. Correspondence. Yeah, no, I know, I know she, I know she dated Adam. She dated Adam, not Jonah. I'm getting the names mixed up, but you know where I'm coming from. Face Studio 2, free edition. I love free things. Check the manual for more detailed instructions. Trademark Mandela Tech 2000. Okay, all I'm going to say is, I know we've got, like, Clippy, the mascot for, like, Microsoft Word and stuff. Imagine having this as your mascot. That is absolutely terrifying. It doesn't even have eyes. Its eyes are hollowed out. Welcome to Face Studio 2, a revolutionary software that can make your face say anything you want, at the touch of a button. All we need from you is your personal details and three photos of your face, demonstrated on screen now. Once we have your photos, we will be able to save your facial profile to our database. We okay, okay. The, the the fact that, you know, I said to you earlier that the alternates can corrupt technology. I think that this is an alternate in this program. Because why would you need your personal details to save, like, pictures of your face? To make, like, a face morph. I think this is, like, a database they're using to collect people's identities so they can, like, easily... So the alternates can actually impersonate them. That's that's what I think. And everyone in the chat, instead of like trying to theorize, they're just saying that the scary face looks like Gemma. Share your data. Once the upload is complete, you can type in anything that you want your face of choice to say. A new feature with Face Studio 2 is the ability to customize your face even further. I don't know about that last one. Faces can be saved on I don't know about that last one. Creating magical fun for everyone. It's truly a wonder that digital technology has come and saved us all. Make sure to spread the word to your family and friends about the new and improved Face Studio 2, available for free on most personal computers. It's the fact that it's a free-to-use software as well. Like it wants to, it wants to spread. And then what? What did the what did the mascot just say? Like to come and save us all or something? Oh, okay. Like I, I I get shilling a product, but like I wouldn't shill NordVPN that bad. Do your part in creating a better reality. I think it was about to say there, do your part in creating a better reality. So yeah, I think this is something that the alternates use to help replace people, to impersonate them, so it makes them easier to take their place after they've killed them. Okay, that was terrifying. I don't I don't want to sleep tonight anyway, it's fun. No, I don't want to sleep tonight, bro, it's fun. But yeah, no, I think I, I think I think that I got from that is it is a program that basically wants to have everyone's face on a database, so they're much easier to replace people. It was kind of hard to hear what it was saying though when it was glitching out. I think it was just doing like a bunch of Bible quotes or something. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to pick up anything from that, honestly. But I think it was a Bible quote or something. Also, 
The compositing for this shot is so cool, by the way. That actually looks real. I don't know whether they got like a school or a church or something and then just like photoshopped the logo in. But that's really cool. Average British citizen. Yeah, I kind of noticed another thing that was terrifying about it, apart from the eyes being hollowed out, it had like incredibly realistic modeled teeth. That was Adam's mom. Yeah, the, the woman that was uh, hung was Adam's mom, I'm pretty sure. But not, not the actual face. Keep the subtitles on. There's no point. They're, they're so inaccurate because they're auto-generated by YouTube. Mr. Davis, are you here? So this is her, like, after being kicked out of her job. She's basically trying to, like, find answers. But again, it's like, no one is here at the police station now because Thatcher is in hiding, presumed to be dead. Weaver's dead. Most of the other cops have basically, like, pussied out and ran away to, like, a different state. So I, I don't even think there's anyone in the police station. The, the alternate might be there. The alternate pretending to be Thatcher. But that's pretty much it. Basically, she's screwed. She's probably going to die. Unlucky. Yeah. Um, I've got some news for you. What? You know, I mean, I just think it's time that I move on. Okay, move on with what? Why are you being so cryptic? I just think, I just think that I finally found peace. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. So, so we're done. Just like that. Right. Doesn't even say bye. Just covers the oh, CRT. Fuck, man. I don't think you fucking get it. I don't know how to do any of the shit you do for me. How much of that was really worth it, though? If you would have just given up already. This is the one thing I'm a bit confused. Why was Thatcher sending David or Davis the tapes? He looks like Dr. Disrespect a little bit. But wh why, why was he sending him the tapes? D does anyone know? That's like the only thing that I'm kind of confused about at the minute. Everything else is kind of making sense, but I'm not sure why Davis was getting tapes from Thatcher. Was it to like destroy them? Not, not to destroy them because he's keeping them. Thank you, Anna, for joining. Let's do some donuts. Honestly, that Among Us comment made me realize how Mandela feels like a satanic version of John Carpenter's The Thing, where they impersonate people. To uncorrupt them. To recover them. To restore them and make them watchable. Uh... Why would he want to restore them, though? Because aren't they corrupted? Isn't that what the alternates want, to make these tapes work? Because if he restores the tapes, doesn't that then mean that, uh... They're gonna be like, they're gonna kill people and stuff if they watch the tapes. What, what's the purpose of restoring the tapes? Why does he want to do that? What is the army supposed to do against TV demons that manifest because you think about them? Pyro, I'm not sure if some jarhead with an M60 spraying a spooky creature is going to work. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That is a good point. Hey, Pyro, so happy for you. MW2 made ghost into your long-lost twin brother, Aqua Optimist.
Oh, he removes the alternate off the tape. Alternates mess with electronics. He restores them to show the world we don't know yet. Okay, that's probably the best answer I've seen so far, yeah. I think it's still a little bit up in the air. But to restore them to explain, that kind of makes sense. Because he's a suspect in the police officer's murder. Nah, he wouldn't be a suspect. It, it, if uh, if he, he wouldn't have his face muriel in the police academy, in the police station, saying in remembrance. He definitely wouldn't if, if he was like a, a suspect. Dave owns a VHS player. One of the things most people don't know, he needs somebody to watch them, to research them. The alternates want them to play it through to spread their message. They aren't helping. Dave is the only working TV, didn't it say in the note? Yeah, but Thatcher has a TV as well, he's using it. Uh, he edits the alternate out to make it safe to watch. Possibly. Alright, let's keep going. Maybe you could find peace as well. Think about how much time you've wasted trying to solve these cases. You need to learn how to accept things that you can't change. From 17 years ago, might I add. Find a new meaning in life, Davis. One of them will die this episode, probably. Either David or Thatcher or woman. My bet is on woman. Uh-oh. Oh, that's her going through the drawer. I thought it was just like a hand reaching out. Yeah, she ain't waiting around. She's going to start unlocking some stuff. Who's he talking to? Is that the- that's the guy he spoke to at the beginning of the episode, right? I think? The very beginning? Hang on. This is Dave, from Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh! How's it going, man? It's been a while. Mo, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church could go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. Felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. I'm sure you've seen the news. Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. Ah, that's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's all right. I'll find a way around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what, if you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense then. So the reason why he's even... Yeah, because I was so confused, like, where the fuck is he going there? So he's quit his job working at the CRT place. And I think he's now going to work for this O'Brien pastor guy. I think. Even though he said he's like atheist. Uh, he said you don't have to be religious. So that's why he's here now. That makes sense. Okay. Is that... Why did you rewind? Because it's the same voice from earlier. Uh, could you unlock the front door, perhaps? Yo, you're at the front? Uh, yep. I'm at the front of the building. Perfect. We're right there. Stay still. Stay still. That's uh, that's not foreboding at all. I don't think.
Or even the wind farm stopped. Is he is he gonna fall off? Is he actually gonna die? Is anyone there? Uh oh. Oh shit, is that uh so close, David. Is that Gabriel? You had it all figured out. The stage was set for you. Yet you still managed to follow the shepherd. Oh Brian. I truly have to hand it to you. You managed to live your entire life completely clueless. You are a fool. No! Don't die. Don't die. Is he actually going to die? No! 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 Dave! He fell off. So that was like, that was Gabriel actually interacting with a human, which is weird. Because we've barely ever seen that. We've only seen like one or two other instances of that ever. And that was, you know, back with like Jesus and stuff. That wasn't in modern times. Uh, hearing his voice as well, which is weird. Uh, he said he's going to deal with the cop friend after. So I assume after he kills Dave, he's going to go after Thatcher. One thing that I don't understand, though, is, like, if Gabriel, if that is Gabriel, or, like, Satan or whatever, has the ability to just kill people at will without channeling it through an alternate, why hasn't he just killed everyone on Earth? Like, what are the... What's the actual limit to the powers there, right? Maybe because he was near a church, like a place of God, he had more power there, and he could actually physically manifest and kill someone. That could be a reason because like, like we established earlier, God in this universe has been like overthrown and Satan has taken God's place. So churches are basically conduits for Satan, right? I think that's that, that, uh, okay. That, what I just said there was, was genius. And I think that's, I think that's it. I think I just explained it. I think I just explained it. That actually makes so much sense what I just said there. I'm a genius. Wendigoon, do not steal that. Do not steal that in your video. I'm going to copyright claim what I just said. I'm going to put a watermark over that. Do not steal that. That was genius what I just said. The churches are conduits for him because the roles are reversed. Because uh, Satan's taking God's place. Anyways. I was going to say, because if he was like om omnipresent and could just be anywhere and do anything, why, why is he even using alternates? Why hasn't he just killed everyone himself? Murray, Murphy, Holland, divorce agreement. Oh, we saw that earlier. Yeah, we saw that in volume one or two, I think. So she's going through the files. So this is, oh, so this is Murray. So this is the guy, Adam. This is Adam, right? Adam Murray. Yeah, yeah, Adam Murray, okay. Why did 
Dave bleed from his eyes. I think uh, he just killed him. I think Gabriel or Satan just pretty much killed him. Because I think he was near a church, so that kind of like he could, you know, materialize. But he's dead. I'm pretty sure Dave's dead. Uh, but it seems that the only other person around that actually has any kind of like power to stop him is Thatcher. Because why would Satan want to go after... Why would they want to go after Thatcher if he's literally just hiding in his room every day, like terrified? Why would they even want to mess with him? Like he'd be so low on the priority list. So obviously he has something or knows something. But this is interesting. Like, because Adam has... Uh, Adam has like a resistance to alternates, right? And I think we... What was it? It was episode one where they explained Mads. Was it Mads it was called? What was it called again? Here, here you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, MAD. Metaphysical Awareness Disorder. And in this... Uh, it's basically like hearing stuff you don't want to hear. It's, it's hearing information that, that you shouldn't hear, basically. And then it sends the person crazy. Mad is a result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicide is 97%. 3% proves the effectiveness of delusion reversal. And I think... Avoid unnecessary beliefs. Opening your eyes when you say there's a man watching you. So I think he's had reversal. Because in volume 2... This bit here, this is when Adam is spoken to by one of the alternates. Uh, if it comes up. Yeah, you can hear it speaking there, like it just pops up on the screen and then it just starts like actually speaking to him. So that, that was him probably developing like mad because he's seen and heard something that he just shouldn't have even seen. So he hasn't died, he hasn't like, you know, game ended himself. Uh... So he's probably got like a bit of a resistance to them. Your son Adam did not react to any audio or visual stimuli during the assessment. This may be a result of lack of basic intellectual capabilities compared to other children or the result of the recent phenomena occurring with children his age. Right, okay. So that makes sense. So he probably had mad at like a pretty early age. Uh oh. Who did that? Was that her? I don't think that was her. But those hands had uh, like pretty long fingernails. Uh oh. She gonna die. Come on, don't do don't do two fatalities in one episode. Come on. Don't do two. So is this Adam a reincarnated version from the Bible? I don't I don't think so, no. I, I do think he's got a larger part to play in the overall narrative, though. I think he's got some kind of ability to... Because remember that the TV was speaking to him as well in the second volume? The TV being like the stranger? Maybe the reason why Satan is going after Thatcher is maybe he knows Thatcher could find out how to stop alternates. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably something along those lines. One thing I've noticed about th this entire series, though, is we actually haven't met a character that's kind of like a MacGuffin, or, like, they don't have any kind of... There's not, like, one character that's... You, you know, like, every film, you get this one character that's, like, an old man, and he just knows all the lore and everything, and he's, like, a... He's, he's playing life on, like, veteran difficulty. You know, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi in, like, the, the very first Star Wars film. We've never had a character like that. They're all very inexperienced people. That's funny. Adam and Evelyn. Oh, Adam and Eve. Uh, so true. Yeah, I, yeah. Was that her sticking her head out the archive office? Okay, that's... I don't think that's her. Or maybe it is. Maybe she's like, you know, screen peeking. But someone flipped that switch that wasn't her. Oh, shit. Did you see that just then? Something moved. Hang on. Frame. Yeah, you can just see it there and it disappears pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So that's an alternate. That's probably an alternate. Oh, shit. No, that's the alternate. 
Oh, wait. Was that... Was that an alternate or her being grabbed by one? Let's go back. I think that's her peeking and I think there's an alternate right behind her, like about to grab her. Yeah. I think, because she's still in the archive room there because you can see the filing cabinets. Oh, rip. Rip bozo. How did I get here? I was watching Rick and Morty and now I'm scared. Welcome to hell. Answer me, what was in that video? Did you edit all that in? Hello, I've been trying to contact Adam. Yeah, so Evelyn said, gotta go to work, please respond. And then she went to the police station. So she lied. She wanted to get answers because Adam wasn't providing any. Unknown, maybe spam. Hello, we've been trying to contact Adam. Hello, I've been trying to contact Adam Murray. Is that you? Please confirm yes or no. Hello, we've been trying to contact Adam Murray. Is this you? Please confirm yes. Fuck off. Oh, <laughs> yes, he says fuck off. No, he got trolled. He got trolled. He's going to die as well now. You never say fuck off to the internet stranger. Uh, so so this is the guy that was talking to him on the TV in in the second volume. So he's contacting Adam again. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know I'm pausing a lot. I know I'm pausing a lot. So so that that face we saw in volume three. Hang on. We're not I know I know we're not done. I know we're not done. We saw that in volume three. I'll go back to that in a second. Let, let me let me play this first. now i don't know what's going on please don't make me have to worry about you please call me back please is that it okay there was a lot to go over in that last part there was a lot i deceived him the Mandela Prophet. We have their prayers. And their records. It begins today. Oh, shit. Okay, so they've got his... Right. So that alternate went into the filing cabinet and took his file. And it's uploading it onto that face image software thing that was shown earlier on. So they're going to make an alternate of him now, I think. So he's done, so. Is that it? That is it. Okay, so so what, one thing that was interesting about this is that this, this guy here is the stranger that was talking to him on the tv in volume this one was intruder alert i think and that's this is the first one that came out of it uh seeing if i can find anything i don't think it's that one i think it's volume one Or maybe it's just volume two. 
Oh no, this is it here. This is it. The Scary Night by Mark, age four. Mandela Elementary School. So this is like a kid making like, uh, explaining a dream that they had. And how they were like walking down the stairs and then they saw, uh, almost at mommy's room and then I saw the man in the corner. Yeah, that guy. So, and that's, uh, that's this guy. This guy and that guy, like the, the, this is obviously the same person. But then in volume two, uh, Adam gets separated from Jonah and then he finds this TV and the TV starts talking to him. It is a bit confusing to follow because it's a non-linear narrative, but I, I think I'm starting to make more sense of it now. But basically, this uh, this stranger like in the TV has been with Adam, I think, since he was a kid. The thing is I don't understand is like, so this, this is an alternate, I think, because it also looks deformed. Because the thing is with the alternates, even when they're impersonating people, yeah, when the alternates impersonate people, they don't look normal. There's always something off about them. So in, in the very first video, it would show how like alternates would always have some kind of uh, abnormality that makes them just not look normal. So... You have some that look the same, but then others, it's almost like they can't properly replicate someone's face, but sometimes they do look identical. Uh, but this guy doesn't look, he doesn't look normal, right? Like his facial proportions and stuff, and you see his eyes like kind of moving wildly and stuff. But what I don't really understand is like, I, I think he's like kind of a abnormal alternate or like a special one. I'm not sure. I think Wendigoon covered this and he made a good point about it, but yeah, it's uh it's interesting. And also remember that this guy said at the end, like you aren't the real you, I think, before he got interrupted. When you stare into the mirror, you see the same monsters from your bedroom, don't you? Your skin is not your own. You're not the real you. Yeah, he just said you're not the real you. So, maybe Adam is an alternate and he doesn't even know it. Maybe. Well, that's kind of... It is interesting. But yeah, again, it's like an alternate contacting someone and then mocking them, as usual. That's that's usually what they do. <laughs> the hooded guy is Stanley from Volume 3? Who's Stanley? Who's, who's Stanley? I don't remember Stanley. I don't remember no Stanley. Oh, Stanley. That's right. Yeah, I was going to mention this and I forgot. There's a brief part where it flashes the... Uh, there's a brief part... There's a brief part where it flashes the uh, the white eyes and the mouth. That's right. Yeah, there you go. But one thing, one thing I find interesting is like saying that the light scared off all the monsters, almost like this guy's like trying to protect Adam. It's, it's weird. I think this is an alternate, but I think there's a lot more going on than he, him just being an alternate, I think. But yeah, no, th this is a uh, Stanley that was like in some old VHS tape and they are the same person, I think. Can you hear me? Oh. Hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? 
Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. Consider me a friend, because Adam I was like told to by God not to touch the fruit when he was young. The alternate in volume 2 is a messenger of God. Eve touched the fruit and was killed at the police station. Adam is being contacted a second time. Adam was told by God not to touch the fruit when he was young. The alternate in volume 2 is a messenger of God. Eve touched the fruit and she was killed at the police station. Right, that could make more sense. Are you going to be checking out any more analog horror? Uh, maybe. I like having friends. How many friends do you have? That's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? I can make friends appear out of thin air. What was that? You want to know how? Well, I can tell you. But you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Great. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. What do they sound like? What do they look like? What colored eyes do they have? Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to be, it is best to be, it is best. They're just as scared as you are. It's interesting. You can notice the similarities between this and then uh, the the face printing technology that was referenced like midway through the episode. Uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, th this 3D face printing thing. The face scanning technology. So there's like, there, there's definitely a connection there as well. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. So yeah, um, that's that. So that that was also Stanley. So his name. I mean, we don't know if his name's Stanley. That was just the name that he used on, on the kids' VHS tape. We don't know if Stanley is his real name. I guess you could use like Stanley in like huge quotation marks. Yeah, it's, I think that's like, uh, that's one of the things that's more confusing. Like, what, what is the intruder's angle, right? Because you've had so many alternates. Is he just like an evolved alternate or one with like some, a lot more intelligence? I'm not sure. Or maybe this guy is like even worse than, uh, Gabriel or Satan or whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot. It's, it's inter I'm really interested, interested to see where this goes next. Because it seems like they are going to move on to bigger things after this. Because uh, they said, like, you know, it begins today. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot happening in the next episode, whenever that comes out. But, yeah, again, uh, amazing amazing stuff from, from Alex, as usual. Amazing stuff. I, I love what it does. I The only thing I didn't like is looking on the subreddit after that video uh and and then seeing all the people that were just like you know renting saying like how cheesy or cringy the the acting was and it's like I, could you do a better job i don't think you could bro it's something different what, one thing i like about this series and what alex is doing is like everything uh every episode he's trying something completely different and i would rather try something completely different and maybe it doesn't 100 percent pan out compared to playing it safe so no, it's good. I, I, I think experimentation is always good.
experimentation is always good it, it, it's like you know when i did when i did the iron lung video and then i had the cutaways with the voice acting and stuff i had a lot of people say that that was cringe and it's like okay sure but like i'd rather try something else and it doesn't work out as opposed to playing it safe and not experimenting so yeah thank you slushy facts for joining uh, i hope you're having a good day pyro I hope everyone knows that this series isn't real and Jesus has already won. Less than three. If Jesus won, how do I have nearly five million subs? Answer that. Oh my. Answer that. Um. Yeah. Oh. That was good. I like that. Okay, uh, guys, I'm going to end stream now because it's been going on for nearly uh, two hours. I was going to play Faith, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to save that for tomorrow. And now I'm going to jump straight onto Cruelty Squad because I need Cruelty Squad done. I need it done. I need it out of my life. It has been rent-free in my head. Those little globules and those little characters and those guns. Bro, I need it out my head. I need it out my head. So I'm going to do like a fat uh, scripting session right now. Uh, maybe after I play uh, Dark Tide. But yeah, thank you for joining. And I'll probably 